about the basic uh, construction and the physics of the device. This is the metal semiconductor field effect transistors. Now, uh, unlike what we have seen before for uh, MOSFETs or metal oxide semiconductor uh, field effect transistor, you see the gate was insulated. Okay, if you recall, we have a small uh, thickness of the oxide in between the gate uh, and the uh, the gate and and the, and, the, and the substrate. Okay, so whatever the uh, configuration is, uh, whether it's a source follower, a common source application of MOSFETs. Uh, there is no current, there is no gate current, okay, and there is no current in the substrate either, because the gate has been insulated uh, with the uh, in, in between there is there is there is an oxide, okay, but uh, you need again you need a field effect, okay, to establish a channel. So in order to establish a channel, so that the conduction starts from source to drain, I mean you to have a current from the uh, ohmic con to have a current between those these two ohmic contacts, source and drain. You need to apply a certain VDS, okay, which uh, has the, which is the, uh, which applies the horizontal electric field, so the charges start flowing from source to drain, and this, uh, uh, in presence of VDS, VGS tends to modulate the width of the channel, right? I mean, you, 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 if you increase VGS, a positive VGS in this case, this is an N-channel MOSFET, uh, you enhance the space charge region, okay? The, the width. Uh, the width of the of the channel increases. The width of the channel increases, and this in turn uh, gives more current handling capability to the transistor. Uh, so you increase the current with VGS. As VGS increases, the current from source to source to drain increases, and this happens due to the field effect. That is uh, the field, a perpendicular field that you apply uh, from the gate. So VGS is responsible for the field for this field effect or the modulation of the channel. Okay, so this is the basic operation of MOSFET. We have talked uh, in uh, quite a lot of detail before as well. Uh, uh, but uh, again, uh, if you compare the similarities of this construction with the uh, MOSFETs, there's a very similar uh, operation uh, and the construction as compared to uh, MOSFETs. So N-channel MOSFETs with the simulating uh, semi-insulating substrate is shown in this figure 57. You see, the only difference is that the gate is not insulated. So this is a this is a short key contact. Okay, you have a metal gate over here. This is a metal gate, and this metal gate is in is in direct uh, is in direct, direct in touch with the substrate. Okay, it's just over the over the uh, N-type doped um, semiconductor material. This happens to be the active region. Okay, so this is your active uh, region or a very small uh, call it an epitaxial layer which exists between the these ohmic contacts, which is the metal contacts, so the, 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 all these are the metal contacts, source, gate, and the drain, okay? So all these are the metal contacts. Um, so again, uh, the operation is similar. Uh, when you create a short key barrier, uh, what happens is between source and drain, you have this barrier, okay, which uh, controls the resistance of the channel between source and the drain, so the current is going to flow from the source to drain. Now, if uh, this reverse barrier increases, I mean, the, if you apply a certain uh, reverse gate to source voltage, and uh, you reverse bias the short key diode, which, or the short key barrier, which is constructed over here, then you uh, oppose, or then you uh, uh, introduce more resistance to the flow of electron, and a time comes that you pinch off the channel, okay? So uh, the construction is very similar, just that the gate is a, is a short key gate. We have a short key barrier. We don't have uh, oxide in between metal and semiconductor. There is no oxide, okay? So in mass pairs, the gate junction is a short key barrier junction instead of a PN junction, as we have seen before earlier in, uh, in even this uh, JFET devices. You see the gate uh, and the sub between the gate and the sub. This is an N-type device. So the channel consists of uh, uh, electrons, okay? That flow from source to drain. So uh, uh, this uh, PN junction is reverse biased. Okay. So if you go on increasing, uh, for example, over here, this is this is shown that you're going on. You, you increase VDS. You put more charges over here. This is n-type region. So you are going to uh, to increase the depletion width. Okay. Which means you are pinching off the channel at the drain. So this is there are more charges. So reverse biasing increases. So you pinch off the channel at the drain terminal, which means you are going to uh, you are not going to increase the current. The current uh, after after uh, VDS has reached saturation, the current stays there. 
it's constant and the uh, after vds saturation there is the, the the current is independent of uh, vds all the increase vds but the current stays constant all right because the channel is pinched off at the drain so you have this pn junctions over here but uh, in MOSFETs you have the ohmic contact so you have ohmic contact for source you have ohmic contact for the drain okay similarly you have metal contact <coughs> rectifying contact at the gate these are all metals okay so you have short key values so MOSFETs can be fab fabricated in silicon but they're usually associated with uh, materials like gallium arsenide or phosphide or uh, um, indium phosphide okay uh, or other com or other uh, uh, semiconductor materials now gallium arsenide is better than silicon that uh, it might uh, you know it, uh, if you're using materials like gallium arsenide instead of silicon you can have a uh, short transit times and uh, you have fast switching actions of transistors for example in digital uh, logic circuits in, in realization of digital logic circuits these MOSFET devices uh, greatly improve the transit time, switching times, and uh, they they are they are they are, they, they can realize very high frequency, high cutoff frequency. So you will see that in the uh, when you consider the frequency response, the three dB high, uh, the three dB cutoff points are uh, there's a huge bandwidth. Okay, that you can realize. I mean, these transistors are still being in use in radar applications, in communication systems up until 5G. So they are they are still being used in applicable for microwave applications, radar applications, communication systems. Okay, so because of this uh, faster switching action. So um, Figure 57 is the cross section of this n-channel MOSFET, and uh, this cross section of gallium arsenide MOSFET uh, shown in Figure 57, it consists of a thin epitaxial layer of gallium arsenide. Okay, so this is the deactive region, and this consists of the short key barrier as well. Then there's a channel from source to drain from which the uh, electron will flow okay and uh, it is used for this active region so uh, the current handling capability of MOSFET is much better than MOSFETs okay there's a shorter transit time and uh, again the width of this uh, let's call the width as z this width of this active region is going to um, responsible for the current handling capability of MOSFETs okay so for example, more is the if you have more uh, if, the, if the channel width is large, then then there is more uh, electron that that can flow through the channel, resulting in more current. So again, the channel width is going to affect the flow of current. The substrate is a very high resistivity gallium arsenide material. Okay, so you can see the conductivity is almost zero, and this is referred to as semi-insulating substrate. Now, if you uh, look at this um, uh, depiction, Figure 57, this is a depletion type of uh, MOSFET. Why is it depletion type? You see, there is no external field that is being applied at the gate. Okay, the gate is open, open circuit. So this is a depletion mode MOSFET. Just like we have talked about the depletion mode uh, MOSFETs before, you don't need any gate source voltage to turn on the transistor. So the transistor is on in its natural state, right? So uh, unlike in handset mode where you need to apply the gate source field or you need to apply it supply at the gate so that uh, the barrier junction can be removed so in order to favor the flow of electrons this is naturally on okay so in order to turn off the uh, turn off the, the the device or turn off the transistors or uh, you might want to increase for, for, for that you might want to increase this uh, barrier the, the short kit barrier such that it pinches off the channel or you go on increasing the reverse gate source voltage reverse biasing of this gate to source um, or, or, or the reverse biasing of the gate junction such right, that it penetrates the substrate region so there's no flow of uh, electrons you need to apply uh, you need to reverse bias the gate okay so in order to turn off the device you need to apply the uh, the voltage at the gate or the field at the gate so in, in depletion mode in order to turn off the transistor you need to apply a certain supply at the gate well in the enhancement type it's the other way around uh, in order to turn on the transistor you need to apply the uh, uh, the voltage or the field at the gate okay so uh, the MOSFET in 57 and uh, the MOSFET uh, device into shown in figure 57 a reverse bias gate to source voltage induces a space charge region under the metal gate so when you apply the field it induces a space charge region which modulates the channel conductance as in the case of pn 
uh, JPEG. So if the negative applied gate voltage is sufficiently large, the space charge region will eventually reach the substrate. So you will have some situation like this. So when uh, you apply a negative uh, uh, gate to, uh, source voltage, uh, you're going to reverse bias the PN junction over here. Okay, so there's a PN junction that is being created over here. Uh, so you reverse bias the short key diode. What happens is that um, your barrier reaches the, the substrate, which is semi-insulating, I mean, very small uh, conductivity or very large resistivity. So the device turns off, okay? So you have to apply the gate uh, source voltage to turn off the device. So again, the pinch off will occur. Also, the device shown in figure is a depletion mode device. That is, since a gate voltage must be applied to pinch off the channel or turn off the device, that is to turn off the device, okay? Pinch off means turn off the device. So uh, you need to apply a negative, uh, negative. You need a negative supply at the gate to uh, to reverse bias the the short key diode and therefore pinch off the channel or turn off the device. Okay. But uh, if you look at Figure 58, now what happens is that in this mode, when VGS is zero, that means uh, in in a state where the the gate terminal is open circuited, there is no current between the drain between the source and the drain contact, okay? There's no current. You have to apply a certain um, voltage, okay? For example, when 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 VGS is this threshold, then uh, your channel is, is again at uh, is again at pinch off, okay? It's it's uh, just the voltage required. If you apply VGS a little more than threshold, like over here, then uh, you can you can reduce this barrier, okay? So the, the, the current can flow from uh, source to drain, okay? So in, in enhancement mode, this is where in part C, your transistor is on. This is where the transistor starts conducting, okay? So you need to apply a certain gate uh, to source voltage. It should be greater than at least threshold voltage to establish an electric current. So the transistor could be either biased in the non-sat or saturation region, okay? So uh, one of the advantages of these devices, they include higher electron mobility due to gallium arsenide as compared to silicon, and smaller transit times and faster responses are can be achieved. And decreased parasitic capacitance and a simplified fabrication process uh, resulting from semi-insulating gallium arsenide substrate. They are, they are, they, they also, uh, gallium arsenide is, is much favorable, it much favors uh, uh, altogether. Uh, it talks of the advantages associated with this device. Uh, as compared to silicon. The other materials that you can use are, are indium phosphide, okay? Again, which results in even lower uh, uh, transit times and uh, fast switching times. The, the frequency for such devices you can read in the um, literature, it goes up to 45 gigahertz, okay? Which is much favorable in radar systems and in communication systems in microwave applications, okay? So MOSFETs are, are then are then even faster than MOSFETs, but they're, 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 they're expensive devices due to the materials involved of uh, the fabrication of such devices. So uh, figure 58, uh, figure 58, we have this enhancement mode MOSFET. Over here, figure, figure 57, we saw earlier, uh, we had the depletion type uh, MOSFET. This is um, enhancement mode MOSFET, again, N channel, okay and uh, with the short key barriers and this the in the in the for the enhancement mode MOSFET in its open circuit state uh, the transistor is not conducting it off then at threshold and this is just the point after which uh, the transistor starts conducting and in part c we have seen when vgs is greater than threshold the transistor starts conducting so the the operation of this device is very similar to that of mosfets uh, that the only difference in the construction is that you don't have uh, the gate that is insulated, but these devices are expensive and can offer very uh, short switching times to their advantage. So, in another type of mass channel, the channel is pinched off even at VGS equal to zero. This is the description for Figure 58A. Now, for this uh, mass width, the channel thickness is smaller than the zero biased space charge width. Okay, so this is Figure 58A. We have already talked about this. So, to open the channel, the depletion region must be reduced. So uh, what you want to do over here is um, to, in order to, to reduce this depletion rate, you need to apply VGS greater than the threshold. So that is the forward bias voltage 
must be applied to the gate semiconductor junction so when a slightly forward bias voltage is applied the depletion region extends just to the width of the channel this is the threshold voltage okay the gate to source voltage required to create the pinch of condition the threshold voltage of this n channel MOSFET is positive in contrast to the negative threshold voltage for the depletion mode device now if a larger forward bias voltage is applied the channel region opens up to 50 gate c the applied forward bias gate voltage limit is limited to the few tens of volts before a significant current occurs so in this figure it starts conducting so then between uh, between the source and drain you have the conduction so the transistor device is on so this only occurs when vgs is greater than threshold voltage okay so um, so the, the, this, is, this threshold voltage for n-channel device is positive in enhancement mode device, which is negative in depletion mode. So the device in, uh, in an n-channel enhancement mode MOSFET, enhancement mode P-channel MOSFET and enhancement P and JFET have also been fabricated. The advantages of enhancement MOSFET circuits can be designed. The circuit can be designed with the voltage polarities on the gate and train are the same, which is not the case in JFETs in most of the applications. So, however, the output voltage swing of these devices is quite small, but it offers a higher frequency response, shorter transit times, higher switching uh, responses. So, high frequency response can be easily obtained from MOSFET. This is the greater advantage of MOSFET devices. Okay.